Again. Parasite Eve. Thoughts of Parasite Eve. Now, why would I tell you? I could just run away right now. I don't know. I've told you that already. I don't know where we're going. Or why. Oh, it's a chain hanging up there. I was like, what the fudge is that? Spooky. You don't even know what you're doing. Correct. You do whatever he tells you, don't you? So the only thing I have to do for Fliss is one, not get her killed. But two, she has to step outside during that one segment later. Stop. That uh ballroom segment, I guess. Right before she has the potential to die to uh Brad. But I think we're a we're a little ways away from that. We have you alright, Danny? You cool, bud? Alright, come out! Show yourself! Damn it! This fucking place is cursed. He's like the only one that puts it together. I'm not picking up the hat. That's silly looking. That noise. What are you talking about? I don't want to hear anything from you. Olsen! Who put that pipe there? Still right here with us. I mean, you die on a ship, you go stays on the ship. Come on. Not spirit. No idea what you're talking about. G okay, Fliss, you were talking about this shit before. But not spirit. As I think she was mentioning before. Like, oh, you Man. You die Man. and then your spirit is there. What is with that fake out? What is with that hand? I saw that hand originally. I was like, oh shit. It's the. It's, um. That weird Goro beast. No. Not real. Maybe. Sequoia pulled down. He psychs himself up to go around a corner. Like, wouldn't you like just turn the corner and go, Whoa! point the gun, like you're Leon. He just psychs him up. He psychs himself up to bum rush in there. Now he lost his hat. Does he have that hat at the end when we see him? That's gonna be pretty friggin' hilarious. Okay, who is that? Okay. 
odd. Am I going the wrong way? I don't remember. No, it's this way. Okay. Right? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, shit. Hello? Is anyone there? I say in my normal speaking voice and not a voice that would, uh... Attract people or scare them away. Spooky, scary face. Fuck you. You did not scare me away from looking. Scary face. My name's Scary Face. I forgot how that song goes. Oh, spooky! That can't be a good sign. He's so superstitious. But you know, you die in the ship, you die in real life? That can't be right. Your ghost stays on the ship. Not your spirit. Your good, good, good ghost. Charles T. Perez. He's from Boston, Massachusetts. That's where Salem is. Oh, I think I missed the the part where it's got all the books that reference like witches and shit. I think it's on her, in her cabin, on the Milan. Like a, bu a, a bunch of shit that's like referencing witches and, and stuff. I don't remember if I got that. Cause that's what Little Hope looks like it's going to be about. Maybe. Shit. Shit, 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 shit. Bradical. Language, mister. Let's take on some terrorists. Buck up. Buck up, you motherfucker. Come on. Come on. Just saying it out loud. Come on. All right. Do it. All right, all right. Kill me. Buck it up. Buck it up, B boy. All right. Be the B. All right. Uh, be the B. Really surprised there's no, like, QTE there. Really easy QTE to fail. Brad dies in the water. Holy shit. There's, like, only a handful of places that characters can actually die. <coughs> like, there are, there are a couple in, um, Until Dawn. Right? Or is that mainly just till the end? Or at the end. I think. Outside of Mike shooting, um... M. How can I forget her name? She's a part of the catchphrase. This is the safe room, M. Like, outside of... Outside of that... I don't remember. I think it's mostly towards the end. Hello? It's actually at the end. Yeah. That last chapter. This can't be good. 
like outside of like the Brad hallucination and the Alex hallucination and the Conrad thing, there's not many areas that people can die. This is Julia's. I'm assuming if you fuck up some of the uh, heartbeat okay. things, maybe. Here. But I don't know. In a game that touts everyone can die. Nope. It's like, uh, I don't know about. I don't know if that's true. I haven't done my research on it. I like that he had to psych himself up for a leisurely stroll through a ghost ship. <laughs> I think that's hilarious. Come on, tank controls, work with me. Be the bee, come on. Oh, hold on. Okay, I have to do some searching. I had to get my phone. That's why I had to pause. Is this finding friends? <laughs> How do I know what thing I'm on? Because I have to find the gas mask. So, B-Rad, you're going to have to find something for me. We're going to go on a little journey here. Holy shit on a shamrock. What happened here? Holy shit on a shamrock shake. Where? Hello? Oh, where? Oh, hell. Oh, oh bugger. Perfect. Wonderful. This is the way to go. I'm expecting a spooky scare. No? The bodies are missing! That. That'd be fucking weird. Now that I know I have to be on the search for things, maybe. Again, I don't know if this is the area. Do my research more. I'm unprepared. Ill-advised and unprepared. Yeah, I don't think I- did I search everywhere last time? I don't remember. All right, music, you can settle the fuck down, thanks. Uh, Finding McCream, Between Crew, now I'm Crusty, blah, 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 Crusty? Hey, hey, hey. I don't think I've been this way. Well, fine. Wish. C be rad, come on. I know you're scared of a little dark area, but come on. Keep pushing through, bud. Whoa. Farts. Let's open all the lockers. Die. Fuck this place. Same. What's with the weird camera angle? Oh, are you inviting me back to look in you? I'll do it again. Hey. What? That's not. That's the thing I need. Hell yeah! Alright, be radical, let's go! Hell yeah, I'm turning into a character of the Sonic cartoons. 
It's fine. <laughs> he just puts it on his shoulder. Yeah, what of it? Well, I didn't have to poop, but now I do. Knock, knock, bitch. Coming in. Grody. Oh no, it's Pennywise. Give me a fucking break. Now I gotta deal with killer clowns too. Shit. What was really in there? Nothing. Buck up, B-boy. I'm pressing the B, boy. Back out, bucko. You bucking idiot. What am I hearing? Water? They're close. What's well, the the insane ramblings of a madman? It's mostly Danny you're hearing. Yeah, we were. Oh, oh, that's the gas mask from that, 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 that thing. We found the mask. Mustard gas. This looks propaganda e. Maybe they're through here. You don't know that. Couldn't possibly know that. A QTE for seemingly no reason. Tom, it's your ass if this gets out. See that it's done. All field officers ensure the locks are fixed to caskets as soon as they are have been located at the water purification project facility. The caskets are classified. They must remain locked and under guard at all times. No personnel in your unit should have access. So that's the uh the Dio coffins. The way the camera is panning makes me think there should be some scare there. You know? Like, it comes out of that, that scene of reading the note. And then there's just something sitting in the chair. But B-Rad doesn't know it. Only you know it. Bro. Julia? Hello? Oh, there's the picture in here. That is the end of the game. Only one with a natural reaction to things. Skeletons. Skeletons. Skeletons? Really skeletons. Where's the skin, guys? Where'd all the skin go? Where's all the skin? I'm not supposed to see this. They're not skeletons, they're emaciated corpses. Oh, if I don't pick that up, does he still go after Bliss? Some sort of altercation. That's why he's swinging at Bliss.
Uh, radio situations, yay. Do I have a gas mask and a wrench? Alex? Julia? Oh, Man of Medan was there, too. The Curator. Just notice that. Boah! Everyone's scared reaction should be Hank Hill. Boah! All right, Fliss. Are you sure? <laughs> what is going on here? Good question. Why are you seeing Brad? And not Conrad. That sexy man beast that he, that he is. Can't say anything over a game. He's a bullet. I wonder if you fail those, do you die there? Hi, Brad. Yeah, I wonder if you die, if you fail those, do you die? Maybe, maybe not. Don't know. Research. I did not do that. The triple load. What in God's name is this? The reason for the triple load, no doubt. This place is not right. Yeah, you should go get some air. Which is conveniently one of the things I have to do for the ending. So there's that. Whoop! What happens if I don't? Because this is a part of the hallucination that she's having. What if I don't do that? And it's played up like some magical moment. Like, ah, the bright light of day. We are saved type of moment. Rendering that room is so labor intensive on the system, the game system, the game engine, that it has to load three times to load it in. And then when it's got to load it out, it takes another load screen. Look at this thing! 
Maybe. Not gonna do that. Seems like a really bad idea. Isn't this another area where it's just like, ah, fuck around a bit. Wait until Brad shows up. Dodge his swings, etc. No, got Bliss, where are you going? She just wandered off on her own. Tank controls. Stop. Stop it. Got tank and tanks. Tanks, but no tanks control. Motherfucker, come on. All right, you gotta play the RE2 remake with tank control. No, you don't. Fuck you. <laughs> nope, pass. Thank you. Go away from me. Just because I can doesn't mean I should. What's in here? Another spooky mask? But nothing. Excellent. Just gotta faff about a bit. Look at all the things. What is going on here? Spooky, scary stuff. No, not, not this. The other thing. This thing. Secret found! Why is it a secret? I broke the game. Oh. Uh. Yeah. That's what- oh god, help me. Find all the secrets for an achievement! No thank you. That's a lot of things to find. Fuck it, I'm gonna go open the box then. Cause I'm tired of waiting for Bradical. I'm also tired of these tank controls. I found it. Chemical League. Brad, it's not nice to keep a lady waiting. No, no matter how bradical you are. I just leave this area? Stuck in a corner now. Finally! Wait, this is here? Where did it all go? What? I stepped outside. Ah. 
Hi. Oh, okay. She has to have the hallucination because he has the gas mask. Okay. But I stepped outside. Does that fuck things up? The Grim Reaper! Don't know if success or not. I think I'm doing all right so far. I don't know, that Fliss thing kind of threw me for a loop. Why put it back? Stop! He'll drown! Let me kill a guy, babe. Come on. We're pirates now. There's no rules. Outback pirate life. I've been better. Thanks. I could have drowned. We gotta get away. He's still around. That, that guy. There he is. <gasps> the Terminator. I don't know why the good ending involves having everybody alive, including the pirates, but... Hey! Wait, was that guy in the hood not... Radical? Was that Conrad then? You wanted to surprise me with the whole pirate adventure thing, and I gotta say it was a good idea. Oh. So, it was. I mean, it's funny. I think it's funny, but... I think the guys you hired are taking it a little too far, maybe. And don't be cheap. I mean, you didn't feel like paying top dollar, and that's what you get. You get these guys that are not the cream of the crop. They're taking it a little too far. You know, you get my drift? So if you want to feel free to pull the old plug, get rid of these guys, I'm with you. I mean, these guys are fucking crazy. They're chasing us around the ship. <laughs>
Okay. New stuff. I gotta find it. Need something. It's... Something is fucking. I don't know if I should be running for my life. Oh, that's the music from the beginning of the game. I no, I nope. There's a picture. Oh, see, that's bad. That's what I don't want to happen to that thing. Uh, man overboard ordered full stop and anchor. At 0128, I received reports of a man overboard and ensure that all units under your command are notified and prepared to assist in the search or recovery of the casualty. This was no accident. I saw him jump. I don't know if that's related to what we saw or if it's its own incident. Uh, to all officers, Captain Ford has ordered the consumption of alcohol is strictly forbidden during this voyage. Any officers found drunk while on or off duty will face court martial. That's harsh, to say the least. Uh, your alcohol rations will be provided to you at a later date. The war is over. This is bullshit. Exactly. I guess now we have a reason why. This is it's just it's just fucking with me, okay? <laughs> fucking with me. A candelabra. Hmm. Heavy. Hefty. Shake weight. Whoa. Honey, don't do that. The nice candelabra. Again. Very shake weighty. One, it was the candle was lit, and there's no candle there. We take a candle. Uh, a candle holder like that. A while to get warm, I would assume. Hmm, very shake weighty. Probably not much of a practice when you preach kind of guy. All right, I'll um. Looks like that glass is. Interactable if anybody knew what the hell was going on in this place, it would have been the captain. Wrong. Probably not. Ah, finally, I can relieve myself. Yeah, I should really take a look behind this door, shouldn't I? I should. But should I? Yeah, I should. <clears throat> well, all right. Too strong for my own good. So how do I pry this son of a bitch off? I, I, the candle thing, I'm assuming. Looks like you could pry things. Enough for the door. Uh, 
Oh god, I pressed the wrong button first. Mmm, give it all my god. Oh hey honey. Hi. Lacey Evans, is that you? That's a great scream. <sighs> Baby, we could talk talk about this. Uh, run. Oh, always in the vents. It's always an excellent choice. Did you go? Jump. Confrontation seems bad. That's not what I thought you would do. Look who has to start this all over again. <sighs> That's... That's annoying. Fuck. Confrontation would have done nothing. Would have done yeah. fuck all. What's the matter, Dreambone? Don't talk to me anymore. I mean, I I nailed all the QTEs. Both ways would have ended in death. I have a, I, I have to assume. Jump was the correct choice. Shit. Just so 
bummed. Keep going. No, fight back. Yeah, I'm just so bummed that ah sucks. So close. So fucking close. Back. Oh, oh my god. Oh my god. Maybe he's gone. Oh, oh, Fliss. Oh, thank god. Yeah, it's me. Come on, let's go. Jesus. We gotta get somewhere safe. Yeah, it made me feel like shit. Thank you. Alex, you're not gonna comfort her, or... There you go, bud. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Yeah, so am I. I know now's the absolute worst time to say this, but... We can't stay here. Yeah, just give me a minute. Hello. Things appear to have taken a turn towards the spiritual, wouldn't you say? And the shit, yeah. Now you're one down. Not for long. I will replay. Do you, if you think I will not replay what that. About Conrad, took a step into the unknown. I fear. You should have fucked that old bad. bitch. It would have been fine. Have you figured out what's going on? How to stop it? How to save the lives of your poor, unfortunate stowaways? You will, I hope. Although it seems the ship's previous occupants never managed to. Quite a lot of deaths that night. Let me help you out. Give you a little hint. Sure. Well then, how can I put this? There may be forces at play here that are more scientific and even some that are more political, you know? Less supernatural. Less interesting. Perhaps you've started to realize something. That everything and everyone may not be quite what they appear to be. I hope that helps. Well, aren't you excited to find out what your poor unfortunates are making of all this and how you might avoid any more unnecessary tragedy? Go on, back to it. Speak soon. The ship must be cursed. It's the only way we can explain all this evil shit that's happening down there. Let's just stay calm and relatively sane about this, okay? What the fuck happened to my brother? Someone had to have seen him before he... Before... I saw him. I, I, I mean, Fliss and I both did, uh, right? <clears throat> yeah, but just for a second, I tried to catch up, but he was gone. 
Gone where? Why? Oh! This just doesn't add up. Should have never split up. We should have stuck together. This would never have happened. He jumped off the funnel. Or maybe he fell, I don't know, but he was scared, he was terrified. He jumped? He jumped? Oh my God, I'm gonna be sick. Hey, uh, is everything okay? Not the time, B-Rad. What are you talking about? Back in the cargo hold, you, you know, you, you ran out screaming your head off. What? Are you okay? Yeah. Perfect. The stuff I saw, it's like there were these old soldiers, they were bodies, they were dead, but then they came alive and- That doesn't sound that crazy right about now. Alex wasn't the only Alex. What are you talking about? There were things walking around with his face on them. Alex's face, it, it was horrifying. Julia, I'd never hurt you. You know that, right? No, I know, it's just- this can't all be happening. Maybe like one thing could, but not all of these crazy things. It's too much of a coincidence. There's gotta be something going on here. What can we absolutely be sure about? What do we know that's real? I say nothing. We're wasting time. Whatever we do, we have to do it now. Time to get off this ship. We're not going anywhere without the distributor cap. The Duke needs it to run. Hold on. The ship's gotta have a radio. If we can find it and use it... That's great, but do you think it still works? Just need to find a way up there. Alright, this is the only episode that's gonna have an outro. Um, thank you, Fliss, for giving me vital information on how to save Connie. So if I just confronted and went, you bet you, old hag, let's get it on. Fliss would have been there, I'm assuming. Or something. It gives me enough. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to get back to this point. I'm going to assume in another fucking safe slot. Cool. Thank God it's not a very long game. It's actually interesting. Uh, yeah. That's what I'm gonna do. So I thank you all for watching. If you enjoyed this episode, fucking Connie, God damn it! I I need to keep. It's a personal vendetta now. I have to keep him alive. But thank you all for watching. If you enjoyed this episode, super kick that like button. Check my channel for more videos I've done. If you like what you see, hit the subscribe button. And until next time, goodbye.